Alright y'all, sorry uh, that last video ended abruptly. Uh, my timer went off to go back to lunch and then I just went back to work and we were busy after that. So, uh, Anyway, so what I, I was saying that Joey used to invite me to his house and he had, uh, did he have it already? He had a box and this rail, it was a box but it had these double rails next to it or on top of it or whatever and uh um, yeah, they used to do feebles and, and like like front boards I remember Jeff and Eric used to do front boards like it looked, it looked tight dude I, I didn't at that time I really didn't know how to do front boards but they looked sick when those fools did it like you know you get that little like you kind of like you're resting on it you're kind of just like you know what I mean like the whole rail it's pretty sick um, I think I only used to do board slide it still kind of sucked I think I did I think I used to 50-50 it but it was double rail so you kind of like automatically just locked on you know what I mean you're kind of with your truck maybe I really don't remember skating street spots I don't think I thought I can't remember we skate around parking lots and stuff but we didn't really skate legit spots I don't think um, it was always just skating there our there are Stater Brothers. Um, what else did we used to do? That's kind of it, really. We used to skate there and then um, a lot of more skating didn't happen until I think Joey got his license. Once he got his license, I remember one of the first days of school. I thought the first day or the second day of school, maybe it might have even been the first day. Um, he used his mom's truck. He had a Toyota T100 or whatever it was, or SRS. Or anyway, one of those Toyota trucks, right? He bought it. He drove to school. We were kicking it. You know, in the morning, waiting for the bell to ring. Like the little warning bell, whatever, ring. And he's like, dude, what if he wants to go skate Huntington? And I'm like, serious? And like, Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> we fucking bounce out. Uh, went to Huntington. Ah, oh, man, who went with us? I think it was my friend Andy. park and it was like a, it was the tiniest park the one by the high school but it was like intense for some reason like I never really been to no legit skate park besides that one that was the first one I ever been to was Huntington and uh, you know just because we seen I think at this time I was watching skate videos uh, we watched mouse Mouse is one of the videos I remember the most, the girl video. Um, I think we watched the Toy Machine video. I can't remember what video it was where it shows like Andrew Reynolds skating at Huntington. Or Tom Penny, I think. Was Tom Penny at Huntington? Andrew Reynolds? Somebody was at Huntington. Either those two, one of those. So we wanted to go to Huntington. Went to Huntington, skated a little bit, um, then we went to the other, there's like another little random Huntington skate park, like Huntington 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2
two or something like that in a park park and uh little little things here and there we were wasn't super good but it was cool to go we went there Blur, dude. At this time, I was smoking a lot of pots. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> they were super big potheads. Uh, we'd smoke weed and listen to No Limit music and fucking skateboarded. That's all we really did. You know what I mean? Talk to girls. Um, we skated, uh, kept skating. I think they ended up. We used to skate in Apple Valley before there was a skate. It used to be a skating rink there. And uh, I want to say it was Boot Barn brought like boxes and <coughs> our kicker and like a flat bar. It was like random stuff there. You know what I mean? Little DIY spot in Apple Valley. And we used to skate that. And then. Um. Uh, what else opened? I want to say Skate and Sport opened in Victorville, I think. I went there a couple of times. Uh, I think you had to have a membership or something like that to skate there. So I think we went like once and then like, eh, we were over it. Um, we had, we had went to this school. We had jacked one of their fiberglass benches. Uh, the super long one. I remember we were bringing it, we were bringing it through this field, like we threw it over the fence, huge, that thing was heavy, we threw it over the fence, we were walking across this field, and there was like a helicopter out, and it was looking for, I don't think it was looking for us, but it was, we were all paranoid, we were all stoned and baked and shit, and it was like, like flashing around in the area right there, we got so scared, we like threw the, <laughs> threw the bench down, we took off running. So we were running, and uh, we kind of dispersed. We all ran different areas. My friend Joey's taking off running. All of a sudden, you just see him like, whew, like he just eats shit. You know what I mean? And we're all like ducking down until the helicopter left, and we got up, and we all like met back up. And we're like, what happened? And there was a, like those super thin-ass fence he couldn't see that night. So he had this, those like chicken wire type fences or whatever, like those squares. And he couldn't, he didn't see it, and he <laughs> ate shit. Oh man, it was, that was pretty funny. When we got it back to the house, uh, started skating it. I think at that time, all I knew how to do was crook to fakie and like 50 50, 180 out. And uh, I think I was able to do five O's. I think no slides, I used to always do no slides. Um, I used to skate with somebody else. I think I'm missing I'm missing the gap somewhere. Cause I used to skate. I used to skate with this kid Randy. And then this other little kid, another little kid Randy. And I met this kid Randy through this dude. William, his name was William Williams, was his name, <laughs> and uh, we used to go skate Pebble Beach Park in the front, it was like this little curb by the pools, or this little wall by the pool, we used to wax it up and do board slides, and uh, and then by William Williams' house, there was this old couple, I guess their son used to skate or something like that. So in their backyard, they had like a cement basketball court. But he didn't play basketball. He put ramps and like boxes on it and stuff. So we would go to that house. When he already had left, I think, or something, moved away or whatever. And we would just go over there and ask if we could skate in the back. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And let's go back there and skate. Um, we would skate there. And then, well, at least the skate somewhere else. My friend Randy in the back of his house, I remember he had a rail, I think. 
on this little slab in the back of his house, and we used to skate that little rail. This was back in, like, the sheep shoes. I don't know if any OGs out there remember those. They had the sheep shoes. And, you know, we were all in the Ed Templeton, like, Tum Yeto, all the Tum Yeto stuff. Um, let's see. We used to skate somewhere else over there. Oh, we'd skate, like, Old Hesperia. Um, Casa Delicious, right? There was a restaurant called Casa Delicious. I'm waiting for them to repave the their driveway or their parking lot but back in the day so they had this little itty bitty loading docks like a curb like a little bigger than a curb type but it had coping it had a metal coping on top and uh we used to just grind that thing that's how I, that's where i started learning like i think i learned nose grinds on that um 50 50 front shove Five O's, fakey fifty fifties, you know, like like the beginner tricks. You know what I mean? Um, nose grind was probably my my biggest excitement there. I was able to do a nose grind. Then there was uh, man, kind of everywhere. We used to skate there. We used to skate there. We used to skate. There used to be this. Like, it's like an old flower shop on 7th Street in this area. And you were able to go inside. It was ran down. It was it was all ran down. Uh, abandoned. And um, I remember it had, like, carpet steps in there. We used, we used to skate the carpet steps. Uh, just the steps were carpet. So it was hardwood or whatever, like, on top. Or I think it was cement because they had ripped out all the uh, carpet. And then the stairs, the steps were carpet. And then the bottom was cement too, I think. So just the steps were carpet. Because <laughs> they didn't rip the carpet off of those. But uh, we would skate those. That was pretty wild. That was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy little place in there. Uh, I think Bum started living in there. We stopped going because it was like, it was kind of creepy or whatever. Uh, across the street from that, like Caddy Corner, there's a two-story, we used to call it. And he used to have this long-ass curb that was, like, super extra waxed up. Like a little skinny curb. But you would catch a lot of people there skating. And, uh, I remember he used to just haul ass. And then you just, like, slappy nose slide and just be like... Like, forever sliding. Super long-ass curb. You used to slide that. Just hit nose slides super far on it. It was fun, uh, that was pretty fun. I wasn't really doing too many flip tricks at that time. I think I had kickflip and heel flip only, I think, and like fakie kickflip or something like that. It was like the only flip trick. I really didn't do too many flip tricks, you know. I like I was just like doing ollies. Ollie over stuff, ollie off stuff. That's all I used to like to do. Um... I didn't even mention one of the first times I got a legit board. Uh, I got a legit board. It was a POW mini logo. And I remember it had Kirby on it on, as the lo one of the logo. I had like a Kirby from Nintendo, a little puffy thing. Um, I went to go work with my brother and my uncle. My uncle used to weld. And I went with my brother to kind of just, for the day or to couple days maybe or a weekend or something like that where it was like three days or something i worked just being like a helper you know what i mean like move, helping to move stuff around or whatever like holding stuff like like a tool bitch kind of and i got some money and um i went to oh man was it high desert bikes or it might have been High Desert Bike and Hobbies. I think it was Bike and Hobbies. And I bought a board. Uh, I believe they gripped it there. And the trucks and wheels I had were from... I think they were from Joey. I had like a Frankenstein set up. Like trucks. Like, like independent base plate with like Destructo hangers. And uh... I think my wheels were like old flip wheels. And um, 
I used to skate that for a minute, and then the same time around high school, uh, pharmacy had opened. Right, I remember pharmacy opened, pharmacy skate shop, and they used to sell blanks for twenty five bucks with grip. Decent boards, even they were they were good. So those were my go to, like for the longest, were pharmacy blanks. Uh, you know they were cheap, not cheap in quality, but you know they, I can afford them. I was broke growing up so we were able to afford those and uh so they're having a demo at this time I, I think i was watching a lot of kind of a lot of skate video ish you know like i was following world industries um maple skateboards 23 and uh so they were having a demo at pharmacy and it's supposed to be the I think it was the 23 team, all right? Jason Dill, Ken Liu. Is it Maple 23? I can't remember who else was there. But I used to follow Ken Liu in the, in the magazines. Like, he was like one of my favorite skaters. It was Donger, Ken Liu, right? Because he ollied high. Like, he just ollied. And he looked cool with his, like, super long. He had two braids, these two long braids. And, uh. I remember he like ollied over like a Corvette or something like that, like like off a curb, like over a whole car or whatever. So anyway, I wanted to be like that. I just wanted to ollie high. But he was gonna be at the demo, so uh, I want to say it was on a Friday because I think it was after right after school. Right after school, and we skated all the way. I was skating all the way to pharmacy. So, uh, I mean, people live out there in the high desert from uh, Main Street to Bear Valley. We skated. like, But it wasn't just me. It was like a, a shitload of us. We're all just skating down the street going to the demo. Like, it was like go skate day <laughs> type shit. Like, everybody from the high school who skated, you know, we didn't. There was no Uber. There was no cell phone. No, you know what I mean? We were going to go skate to they're having a demo. We skated over there showed up they had it in the back and they had these ramps and stuff and uh you know we get there and kind of just looking around like oh, okay this is cool like my my first demo i ever been to all these kids you know everybody's standing around the ramps like watching these guys, dudes skate so i'm standing there looking at the ramp like you know looking at everybody skate or whatever and this dude stepped next to me and then I'm not really paying no mind. I'm just kind of looking. And he takes off, like hops on his board. And they used to have they had like a like a step up, you know, like a like a tabletop flat on top. And he ollied from the ground to the top, like up the whole top of the thing, and then like rolled down and then went over to like the little bank they had on the other side. And uh, when I see him taking off and ollieing, I looked and I was like, oh shit! Like it was Donger, dude. It was Ken Liu. My favorite skateboarder was there at my first demo. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was amped to see that. Like, um, you know, time went on, skated, passed out sticker, threw stickers out, whatever. And I remember I had him sign my shirt. I had a white t-shirt. He signed my shirt. And uh, I was all excited about that, dude. He signed my shirt. I don't forget. I don't remember if I got Dill's signature or not. I just really wanted Ken Lu's signature. Um. Uh, did that i remember that shirt started getting old i had cut it i had cut his signature out and put a uh maple sticker on it and like had it like <laughs> like stable to my wall you know uh shit um what else yeah, they, they did that demo uh, a couple of years a year went past or something like that and then they did a osiris demo it was like during i think they were promoting the storm video i believe and uh, you know you see chad knight dave mayhew uh man, who else was on there i don't know if it was kenton russell was there or not but uh yeah they were there so we seen them um uh, skating pretty tough at this time um I think I had a few tricks in my bag now. I had like a frontside flip. 
uh, half cap flip, varial flip. I don't think I was in the 360 flip stage yet. I don't think. I kind of like was forming them, but I don't think I was landing them. Um, at this time, this is 98. Maybe. I think it was 98, I think. 98, 99-ish, around there. Um, where else did we see? We started skating behind Vons. Uh, behind Vons, they had a drop. We would skate that drop. And they had a couple of little ledges on the side. Still there, but they're extra chunky. They're all tore up. But we would skate there a little bit. Um, man. I wish it wasn't all blur. I'm having a brain fart. But yeah. So we, we skated. I just mainly hung out with Joey and Jeff and Eric. And then uh let's see, we started we started skating with Tommy some more. And then Tommy had this big ass bank in the front of his house. Well, he had like a whole little legit little DIY spot at his front yard. He had a bank. He had this rail that went into the street from his driveway that was a bunk bed like an old bunk bed rail he dug it into the ground <laughs> and then he had a box he had another flat bar oh he just go over there and just skate like and it was five it was him and four of his brothers so and, and like most of them skated and then they all had friends that would come over and skate we just had a shitload of people in the front yard skating like uh his mom always worked so, like, we are pretty much just take over the house and just skate. Like, tear his house all up and shit. Like, eating and, like, getting baked and shit. Like, <laughs> it was fucking, those were good times, man. Um, we skated that. Oh, uh, man, where else did we go? We really didn't go anywhere, like, down the hill wise to skate. Like, we kind of did all our skating up here. Um. Joey had a little Hyundai at this time. He had a little car. So we still really didn't go anywhere. You know what I mean? Like we didn't know where anywhere was. Like we just stayed up skating. Like I think we went to Huntington again. Uh years down the line and skated like inside the school. Um the park. That's the only place we knew. It was like Huntington. Yeah. We really didn't I think we always oh, skated at. I think we went to some demo in Upland, a utility board shop. We went to a demo there, which was pretty cool. I forget. I don't. I don't even remember what the team was. I forget. Um. See, so we skated there, and then what was going on at that time? It was, it was a weird a lot of things were happening around that time um we weren't kicking it as much we would kick we still kick it pretty tough smoke just mainly just smoking weed smoking a lot of weed i kept skating um I'm trying to think oh they built gramps ramps up here and we would skate Gramp Ramps, Gramps Ramps in Asperia. And we would skate that spot. And uh it was pretty cool. It wasn't too crazy, but it was it was had a little membership. I used to go there and bug them all the time and you know, try to get free stickers or try to get in for free or you know what I mean. Uh sometimes they'll let me in free. And I'll go skate inside there in Gramps Ramps. And uh I was skating pretty tough at that time. I remember we would go kind of, not really a lot, but we would, a little less than a lot. You know what I mean? We would go there. Um, yeah. Let me leave it off from there because I'm having a brain fart. I had to try to remember all the rest of these stories. I wish I was a little more like, had the time frames down. And I can remember everything, but it's been a long time. But uh, 
But yeah, so I'm gonna leave off from there. Skating Gramps ramps, and there's some some wildness uh, stemming from Gramps ramps, I should say. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Deuce.